So hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Anne and you're Scent Solutions underscore M-E where we talk affordable perfumes. So that's the kind of content you like. You're definitely in the right place. Today we're talking prohibit perfume intense. This is a dupe for Lunta D Eau de Parfum Intense, part of the Lunta D line. I had reviewed Lunt, the dupe for Lunta D Rouge on this channel. It's called Prohibit Rouge. And a number of you said you purchased it and you loved it. And I was really happy about that. So yeah, this is another one from that collection. I'll just show you what the pack looks like. This is it. It's all black. Um... And then the inside reminds me, it just reminds me of Louboutin shoes. So, you know, the red soles and all that. Anyway, that's what we're talking about today. Let's get right into it. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed and you like this channel and you like the content, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button, like, share, and also tap on the notification bell as well to let you know when I post a new video. Let's get into it. So we're starting with notes, guys. The notes for this perfume are black pepper, tuberose, sesame, orange blossom. And at the base, you've got Madagascar vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver. So this from the notes is obviously a white floral perfume, but let's get into how I perceive this perfume. Now, I'll say upfront that I have learned to D, the original, and then learned to D Rouge. Those perfumes are beautiful. I love Lanta D Rouge. It's one of my top five perfumes for life. Yes. I feel like the original is the most intense of all these three perfumes. And I'm wondering why this one was labeled or, you know, perfume or, or they perform intense. I'm wondering why, because the original to me smells the most intense. It's really heavy on the tuberose and all that. But that being said... This starts off with the most alluring version of tuberose that I have ever gotten my nose on, especially for a dupe. I have smelled the original, but I don't have this. When I say the original, that, that means the original Learn to D uh, Eau de Parfum Intense. I have smelled that, but because I don't have it, I haven't used it in depth or tested it in detail. I'm not doing a comparison, but I would say that based on what I remember, it can be less than 75% similar, just in case you wanted to know that. Now, this is a very alluring tuberose in the opening with a little bit of a spicy kick from the black pepper. Now, you don't immediately get the orange blossom, but I feel like it lends a little freshness to the mix. So orange blossom, adding a little freshness to that tuberose, black pepper, adding some spiciness to the opening. The dry down to me is a mix of creamy sweet vanilla with the florals and then definitely a refined smooth patchouli that just adds some extra oomph and depth and allure to this perfume. So again, just a recap of what I get is... A spicy tuberose in the opening, a creamy vanilla, some patchouli, but a more refined, very smooth patchouli at the base. This is deep. And then I get a little bit of sesame. I forgot to mention that. The sesame adds some nuttiness to this perfume. You're not going to get it as outright sesame. There's this snack that I take. So I know the smell of sesame. Sesame has a little nuttiness to it, right? Almost like you have, um, just take any nuts and then roast them on the fire. The way that fire roasted nuts smell, that's what sesame, that's like the mental picture that sesame gives. And you're going to get that a little bit from this perfume. And it just adds to the allure and the depth of this perfume. It makes it very unique. That sesame note is actually the game changer in here. So it's deep, it's sensual. This is very feminine. I mean, of course, Anyone can wear anything. I leave people to their preferences, but I'll say that this leans definitely more feminine than it's masculine. I feel like the bottle does a good job of representing what this perfume smells like. That dark, sexy allure, that's what this bottle represents. 
it's definitely date night worthy, very intimate encounters type of perfume. It's one that I would have recommended if I did a Valentine's Day perfume recommendation video. I would definitely recommend this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, next to Learn to Do Rouge, because I mean, I'm so partial when it comes to that one. This will be a very close second, guys. I love this perfume. In terms of longevity, it would give me about three hours on my skin. And then on my clothes, it gives me about, let's say, six hours. But this is after spraying 10 to 12 sprays, you know. So it's one that you might want to respray if you want to refresh. But that's just, in a nutshell, what I get in terms of longevity. In terms of projection, I feel like this is moderately projecting, uh, but it becomes a skin scent after about one and a half hours, after which, like I said, if you want it to project a bit more, you might need to spray it more. But on your coats, people are definitely going to smell you. People are definitely going to give you compliments because this got me so many compliments, guys. It's just... It makes, it makes me feel very grown. I mean, I'm a grown woman, obviously, but this one, when you wear it, is for those moments when you want to feel like a grown-ass sexy woman. That is what this perfume is going to do for you. Definitely a love for me. I'll give this a strong 8 over 10. Whew. Guys, if you have this perfume, let me know what you think about it. I really, really love this one. Same way I feel about the uh, Prohibit Rouge. And I feel like they did very, very well to replicate this. I mean, for a dupe, it's from Fragrance World. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. But guys, this was done very well. Again, the name is Prohibit Perfume Intense. This is a dupe for Learn to D, uh, Eau de Parfum Intense. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning, feminine, dark, sensual, sexy, alluring, everything that is just beautiful. Let me know what you think about this. And if you're going to be guessing it, let me know. Till I see you on another video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye, guys.